classmates! It's me, Mikey. And today, pag-usapan natin kung paano mag-multiply ng fraction by another fraction at ng fraction naman by a whole number. By the way, make sure na master ka na sa pag-multiply ng whole numbers. Kasi kung hindi pa, magiging anis ako sa'yo ha, babagsak ka lang din sa topic na to, classmate. So make sure na magaling ka na mag-multiply. Also, makakatulong din kung marunong ka nang mag-reduce ng fractions to lowest terms. Kung hindi pa, maglalagay ako ng link dun sa ating description box. Check nyo muna. By the way, isang mahalagang paalala. Ang mag-subscribe ay lalaking maganda at pogi. <laughs> at ang mag-skip naman ng ads ay lalaking pangit. <laughs> Ready ka na? Tara, perfectin natin yung math quiz mo. When multiplying fractions, meron tayong tatlong easy steps na kailangang gawin. Una, multiply the numerators. Ikalawa, multiply the denominators. At ang panghuli, reduce to lowest terms. Para mas maintindihan, let us have some examples. Tingnan natin kung paano magmultiply ng proper fraction by another proper fraction. Example, we have one-third of one-half. Kung mapapansin, yung one-third at one-half ay parehong proper fractions dahil yung kanilang numerator o yung number sa taas ay mas maliit kung ikukumpara sa denominator or yung number sa baba. Tapos ito, mahalagang tingnan ha. Nakita mo tong off? Usually, ginagamit yan pag word problems. Yung off, ang ibig sabihin yan, multiplication. So, tuwing nakikita mo yung salitang off sa isang word problem, automatic multiplication yan. So, kung meron tayong one-third of one-half, same lang yan sa one-third times one-half. Then, remember our first step? Multiply the numerators. So, ang numerators natin dito ay one at one. So, pag minultiply natin yan, one times one is one. Next, Multiply naman natin yung denominators. Ang denominators natin ay 3 at 2. So, pag minultiply yung 3 times 2, that is 6 or over 6. And finally, we have to reduce to lowest terms. Since yung 1 over 6 ay nakasimplest term na, then yan na yung ating final answer. Another example, we have 3 fourths of 2 thirds. So, remember, pag sinabing off, yan ay same sa multiplication. So, we can also write this as 3 fourths times 2 thirds. Then, we can now proceed to multiplication. So, una, multiply natin yung numerators. We have 3 times 2 equals 6. After nyan, multiply naman natin yung denominators. So, we have 4 times 3 equals 12 or over 12. And finally, we have to reduce it to lowest terms. Since yung 6 at 12 ay parehong divisible by 6, then we can still simplify this. So, 6 divided by 6, yan ay 1. At 12 divided by 6 naman, yan ay 2. Then, this is now our final answer. 1 half. This time, let us multiply a proper fraction by an improper fraction. Example, we have 5 sevenths of 4 thirds. So, itong 5 over 7, yan ay isang proper fraction dahil mas maliit yung numerator kung ikukumpara sa kanyang denominator. Yung 4 thirds naman ay isang improper fraction dahil kung mapapansin, mas malaki na yung numerator compared sa denominator. Actually, hindi naman mahalaga kung proper fraction o improper fraction yan. Pareho pa rin naman yung steps. Pinakita ko lang kasi minsan yung iba sa inyo nalilito na kapag ka nakita na improper fraction na yung minumultiply. Pero actually, pareho rin naman yung gagawin. So kung meron tayong 5 over 7 o 4 over 3, same pa rin yan as 5 over 7 times 4 over 3. Then, ang ating pa first step ay to multiply the numerators. So we have 5 times 4 equals 20. Then, multiply the denominators. So, 7 times 3 is 21 or over 21. After nyan, we can now reduce to lowest terms. 
since yung 20 over 21 ay naka-lowest terms na, edi yan na yung final answer natin. Ganun lang kasimple. Isa pa. This time, we have 6 fifths of 3 over 4. So again, pag dire-write natin yan, we have 6 over 5 times 3 over 4. Kung mapapansin, nauna yung improper fraction na 6 over 5, tapos next yung proper fraction na 3 over 4. Pero again, wala namang kwenta yan. Basta tatandaan lang natin yung ating 3 steps. Una, multiply the numerators. So, 6 times 3 is 18. Then, multiply the denominators. We have 5 times 4 equals 20 or over 20. After nyan, we can now reduce to lowest terms. Since 18 at 20 ay parehong divisible by 2, edi pwede pa siyang i-lowest terms. So, 18 divided by 2 will give us 9. And then, 20 divided by 2 will give us 10. Ayan, simplified na. So, ang ating final answer ay 9 over 10. Classmates, don't skip ads ha. Salamat! Paano naman kung magmumultiply tayo ng fraction by a whole number? Example, we have 5 6 of 12. So, kung makikita itong 5 over 6 ay isang fraction dahil meron itong numerator, at denominator. Pero itong 12, isa yung whole number. Actually, lahat ng whole numbers ay pwede rin nating i-change into fraction. To do that, ilalagay lang natin yun dito, then over 1. So, in short, itong 12 over 1 ay isa na ring fraction dahil meron tayong numerator at denominator. So, kung magmumultiply tayo nito, edi parang nagmultiply lang din tayo ng fraction by another fraction. Tara, try natin. 5 over 6 of 12 over 1 is just the same as 5 over 6 times 12 over 1. Then, let's just multiply the numerators. So, 5 times 12 is 60. Then, multiply naman natin yung denominators. 6 times 1 is 6, or over 6. Then, let us reduce to lowest terms. Since yung 60 at 6 ay parehong divisible by 6, then we can simplify it pa. So, 60 divided by 6, that is 10. At 6 divided by 6 is equal to 1. Tapos kung mapapansin, di ba we have 10 over 1? Pwede pa natin yan simplify ng pagsulat. Tingnan ito maigi, ha? Ah. Yun! Tinanggal lang natin yung over 1 kasi whole number na siya. So, ang ating final answer ay 10. Nagets mo ba? Sige, let's have one more example para mas ma-master mo, ha? Ah. Let's say we have 7 halves of 4. So, again, i-rewrite natin. Una, we have 7 halves. Then, yung of, remember, ibig sabihin yan, times. At yung 4, we can rewrite it as 4 over 1. Dahil kahit anong whole number ay pwede nating i-change to fraction just by adding a denominator of 1. So, since fraction na to multiplied by another fraction, then we can just simply multiply the numerators. So, we have 7 times 4 equals 28. Then, let's multiply the denominators. 2 times 1 is 2. Then, reduce natin to lowest terms. Since yung 28 at 2 ay parehong divisible by 2, so let's simplify. So, 28 divided by 2 is 14. At 2 divided by 2 is 1. Kung mapapansin, over 1 na siya. So, di ba, ganyan yung mga itsura ng whole number na ginawang fraction? So, kung tatanggalin natin yan, mapapansin na whole number din to. Ang ating final answer ay 14. Try it! What is 2 ninths of 1 over 4? Comment down below. Sana marami kang matutunan sa video natin today. Marami pa tayong videos about fractions, so make sure to check them out. Till next time!
बाय